everyone and welcome back to day 70. I cannot believe it's day 70. 20 days to go. I have made a video every single day for 70 days. That's amazing for me. So I'm just I'm going to be doing some dishes here and cleaning up. I um, have a lot of things that I want to do today. So hopefully I'll get to maybe a quarter of the things on the list. You know how that goes. an exorbitant amount of food from our garden this year which is a fantastically wonderful thing I mean it really is to know that we're going to be able to eat organic vegetables all winter long without any um, having to buy anything from the grocery store but the flip side is that of that is somebody has to prep all those vegetables Richard went to the garden yesterday and he brought back um, a full garbage can. I don't mean an inside garbage can. I mean like your trash rubber trash cans that you put outside full of carrots. So those carrots, something has to be done to them. You can't just leave them sitting, you know what I mean? So I want to try this recipe for carrot cake jam. Doesn't that sound delicious? Like it's like and I think for people that are watching their weight or watching, you know, their diet, um, if you uh, if you take make some toast or something, you know, healthy bread, and you put a teaspoon of carrot cake jam on it, it would taste like dessert almost. You're not missing out on anything. So I can't wait to make some of that. I slept in this morning. Oh man, I woke up at about 10.30 this morning and it was so nice, such a, it's so nice when you can just sleep in and wake up on your own, uninterrupted, no noises, nobody in the house. That I have to say is the one thing about not working that I absolutely love, like being retired now and not working and being able to get up when your body's ready to get up. And I really understand and totally empathize with all of you out there that work full time and that often stay up late, I know you do, doing things, you know, preparing for your children and family and then you have to get up and go to work and you never ever seem to get rested. Well, I'm getting the rest for you. There will be a day, trust me, you will get to have that sleep back. Sometimes you sleep in really, really late like I do, but it will all come back to you. And it'll. one thing I can never say is I'm not rested. I may not feel well, but I am rested. I had a strawberry banana shake. It was really good, really refreshing. It's kind of cold outside, so I'm starting to feel the challenge of drinking a cold shake in the morning when it's cold out. So what I've done is I'll have a really good warm cup of coffee first, and then I'll have my shake afterwards, and then at least you feel like you've warmed up. So uh, that kind of helps the challenge for me. I haven't had any snacks yet. We had our Thanksgiving dinner again yesterday. Mm -mm. But what I found was so funny. I think my eyes were bigger than my stomach because I was looking forward to it all day. I always find the day after I enjoy the meal better because the day of you're prepared, you know, not that I cooked everything, but you know, you're preparing everything, putting everything out, making sure everybody has stuff, watching the kids, you know, just kind of being the overseer. So yesterday it was just Richard and I, so I was able to really enjoy my meal so halfway through the meal i had to put my plate down i was like i cannot even squeeze in another bite of food nothing and so yeah i couldn't even finish my supper but oh it was so delicious i tried to eat it all people i believe me i tried okay my tip for today now i'm not sure if this product is worldwide, it may be, but I don't know. But I know that Norwex, I'm using one to wash dishes with. Do you see that label, Norwex? Is 
a lifesaver to me and to many, many people like me. It has made such a difference in house cleaning and chores and health for me. I can't even tell you. I mean, I don't sell Norwex. I don't get any, anything for talking about it. But I just think that anybody that has any kind of limitations or health limitations and house cleaning is an issue or chemicals in the house cleaners are an issue but you still want a clean house, Norwex products are amazing. So my tip for today is if you can find a Norwex representative, if you can't let me know because I will ask um, but the lady who does it for me, um, her name is Haley. I'll ask her how she can connect you up with somebody in the US or in Europe. Um, Norwex is from Norway, and from my knowledge. And these cloths, you're not supposed to wash dishes with them. That's not what, when they're at their best use, but I do anyway. Um, because I'll wash my dishes and then I'll wipe off the taps and everything's all sparkly. But uh, the reason you're not supposed to wash dishes with them because you're not supposed to get soap and stuff in the fibers here. They're really wo woven really tightly. And these ones are super old. I mean, you can see there's a bit of stains in them and there's even hole holes in them. I think I've had this one for five years, I swear. But you see how tightly woven it is in there? Inside of those woven threads is silver, and silver is a natural uh, bacteria killer. And um, these were created in a hospital in Norway because they were plagued with that superbug that seems to be uh, virulent through all kinds of hospitals where people are getting that really bad staph infection. And they were trying to come up with something that they could use to clean things that would kill the bacteria and kill that superbug. And that's what they came up with Norwex. Norwex. Um, apparently, you can clean the toilet with this and then wipe a child's face and there will be no transference of bacteria. Haven't tried that yet. Don't think I ever will. But that is their claim, that you these are amazing. Now, that they're best used, like I say, without other products. That's when you get their true, true best use. And for me, like I, as I've told you, I try to have as few chemicals and cleaners in our house. We don't have any cleaners. We don't have any Mr. Clean, any um, Vim, any of that stuff nothing i don't buy it i don't use it the only thing we use is vinegar on the floor sometimes a little borax if there's some things on the counter that you know little scratch marks or something or in the tub and the rarely maybe every few months i'll take a tablespoon of bleach and throw all the toys that the grandkids play with in the tub and let them soak and let them air dry just because it's easier than wiping each toy down with a norwex cloth but oh my goodness, if you, it's just amazing. So I want to demonstrate to you how cool this is. So I'm just going to take one that doesn't have any um, soap in it from the dishes. Um, so these are some of, they're so old, I'm embarrassed to even show you guys these, but look at, but they're so, they work so, so well. So this one, when you wash them, you wash them without fabric softener because again, you don't want anything to attach to the fibers of them. You can wash them with laundry detergent, but don't wash them with fabric softener. Now, if you find that you get them and you have done that, then all you have to do is boil them in a pot of water and it gets rid of all the extra uh, sort of debris on them. So I'm just wetting this Norwex. And honestly, this is how I clean my house. I use one Norwex cloth like this. I'll go through, I dust, I do my mirrors, I do everything, and then the last thing I will do, I have one in the bathroom, I'll do the toilets, and then I throw it in the wash. And it, your whole house is sparkling clean, I am not kidding. If there's also a polishing cloth, I don't use this very much, but you can if you want to, if you're like super, super, you know, anal about the polishing part. I will use this if company's coming over just over the taps after I'm done. So I'm going to show you a little demonstration. This is my tip for the, today. So I'm just going to take some margarine out of this butter dish here. Put it on my fingers. See? 
and I'm going to smear it all over my aluminum fridge. And you guys know how hard it is to get an aluminum fridge to be sparkly clean. So, you've seen me only put water on the Norwex cloth, so here it is. So I'm just going to take it, wipe it, and then flip it over. And it's hard to do with one hand. And wipe it again. I might as well clean the rest of my fridge while I'm here. There. I'm just cleaning my fridge just because I don't want to waste my time. Like, why? I'm here. Look at that fridge. Can you see the shine? It's not even dry yet. Now watch, I'm going to take this polishing cloth and go over it again, just for extra, an extra shine on there. Now people, look at that. You saw how quick that was. Whoops. Look at my fridge. So imagine what this does for fingerprints. I can see myself in the fridge. It is so, can you see my hand waving? The reflection? It, I'm going to go on the side so you can see there's no grease or anything. So yeah, that is my tip for today. Norwex saves your life. We were even considering at one point when my health wasn't really well to get a cleaning lady and I'm just like, oh, no. I can't, I just, I just find, I don't know. I just, I wouldn't feel comfortable with somebody cleaning my house with me in it while I'm here. Um, I, we've, I had a cleaning lady before when I was working because I really felt I just, I could justify that because I was working and bringing in the extra income. And they do a great job, but they don't clean the way I like it clean, you know. But with the Norwex cloth, I don't find the need for a cleaning lady. Every day I'll do a different room. I just take my cloth and go. I can take this one with the butter in it now, rinse it out, and go and dust my living room furniture. And it'll be spotless. Uh, wipe the baseboards every so often. I wipe out my stove, my microwave. It's just one cloth. So I don't have to go get cleaner, open up a cleaner, open up a bucket, empty the pail. You know what I mean? It just saves so much time. It is so easy. Your windows can be clean. Like right here, I'm just wiping a spot on my window, wiping my faucets off, and all the butter and margarine is out of this cloth. So I will use this cloth. Yeah, and it's, I can't say enough about this product. I really, I just, I could do commercials for them. I love their stuff so much. And I think I've mentioned to you before that they have a pot scrubber that's meant for doing dishes with. It's kind of more rougher. I have one in each of the showers. So whenever we take a shower, while we're in the shower, we just wipe. It's sort of like a scouring Norwex cloth. It's just got more of a grip to it. So we just shower down the inside of our showers and both of them are those fiberglass showers. We don't have to clean our showers ever because we're doing it while we're in the shower. So that's my tip for today. I'm sorry I was blabbing on and on about this, but you guys, if cleaning products are a problem for you, you're trying to reduce um, toxins in your house, uh, if you have health issues, if you have little kids, I could take this cloth now when the kids are here and they've had their lunch, I can wipe their face. Once I rinse it out, it's clean again. I can wipe off their mouths with it and their hands, wipe down the table. I mean, it cleans up spills. It's amazing. Amazing, okay? So the other thing we don't have is a dishwasher. I think I've mentioned that before. I don't like dishwashers. I think they use too much water. Um, unless you have a super duper fantastic dishwasher that, you know, those newfangled ones that you can put all the credit in the dishwasher. I found my dishwasher, I would have to rinse the dishes, 
put them in, take them out, and then have little, it's like little bits of crumbs inside of the glasses. So when it was just Richard and I, we don't use a dishwasher anymore, and I am i don't miss it. And when we have big family functions, other than Christmas and Easter, we'll use paper plates. Any other, uh, fa if it's Christmas, Easter, we'll use glass plates, but that's the only time. But other than that, we don't seem to miss the dishwasher, so color me crazy, I know. So I'm going to honor my body today. I am going to do some yoga stretches later on uh, before I go to bed because I find they're very relaxing. I know I said I promised I would do my honoring the body always in front of you guys, like on film. But sometimes when I'm doing my video, I'm not quite ready to do my exercise. So I apologize. I'm a big fat liar. Sorry. I will do it sometimes, but I, not always as promised. So yeah, there is only 20 more days left. I am just astounded at that. Like, I'm in the teens as of tomorrow. It's just such a cool feeling to know, like, no matter what the outcome is, I think I am going to be healthier and more well at the end of this 90 days than I was at the beginning of this 90 days for sure especially mentally like my thought process has changed and is changing every day um, hearing from you guys yeah it's it's just been an amazing journey I I really think I'm so glad that I did this even though it hasn't always been easy you know so anyway I hope you guys, oh, one thing I did want to share with you guys, oh my goodness, the weather here, and again, this is totally random and off topic, the weather here, it's getting cooler, and I don't know if that's why it's getting this way, but late at night, the northern lights have been absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. Uh, I don't know if you live in country, a part of the country that you can't see them so because the more south you are from the North Pole, the less and less visible they are. But for us here, they are absolutely magnificent. They are this color of the sky. It's like this color green in the night, night dark sky dancing all over the sky and sometimes there's purple in it and then they'll just be there and then all of a sudden it all moves and sweeps it's like somebody's taking a paintbrush and painting the entire night sky it's spectacular i have tried and tried to take pictures but my camera, the aperture isn't right on it. So if I can, I will insert. I took one, but it just it, it doesn't come across on the film very well. I wish you guys could just come and visit me here in Canada just so that you could witness that miracle because they're beautiful. So here's wishing you guys a day full of miracles and wonderfulness. Hope you guys do something wonderful to honor yourselves today. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, and thanks for watching. This was a long, chatty video. <laughs> Bye.